Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we'll look at how to do man in the middle on Kali Linux uh, using EtherCup. So I'm on my Kali Linux machine here. And in order for us to open EtherCup, we have two options. You can open it from the terminal or we can use the application option here. You just go here, click on this and then scroll down and until you get to sniffing and spoofing and then you want to select etacap graphical you need to put in your password and this is the GUI for etacap the other way is through the terminal just open the terminal and type in sudo etacap um, iPhone uppercase key for graphical then again put in your password and here you are you have your EtherCup application open I'll close this one let's clear this you can also check the version here you can just say EtherCup version and this is the version right here let me reopen it so I reopened the EtherCup graphical app, uh, app. Okay, now the first thing we need to do here is select our settings uh, for the setup. So it's saying sniffing at startup. So we'll go with that. And then you have to select your primary interface. I only have it zero, so I'm gonna go with the defaults here. I'm not using bridge sniffing. So uh, if you're satisfied with this, click on this to accept. And down here, you should see it say that it's starting uh, unified sniffing. Uh, let me, if you scroll up, you'll see it's listening on this uh, it's zero. Then it's showing the IP address and uh, MAC address. Now, we'll need to scan for the host on this network. And then we'll need to select a target for the man in the middle. Now, this icon right here can scan for the host. And then you also have an option here. If you click on this menu, you have an option that says host. If you click on it, you can scan. And then you should do a quick scan on your network or subnet. And once it's done, it's, tell, it's gonna tell you how many hosts were found. Now, in order for us to list the hosts, you can go back here to the menu, host, and then host list and these are the four ips that were found in within our subnet so this is the the dot four is the default gateway and uh, we'll have this our, our target this is going to be our target it's a linux mint machine so i'll select it and then i'm going to add it to target one okay so it's saying that it's been added I'm going to select the default gateway and add it to target two, and it's been added as well. Now back to the menu here, we can go to target, current targets, and they should list them, target one and target two. Now that we have that set up, the next thing to do is to come to this icon, the MIT, MITM menu. It should list, this should list for us the available options. The, the one we're going to use is the first one here for app. So you just click on it to select it. This window is going to pop up. So these are optional parameters. So, so these are the options that are presented to us. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with the default to sniff remote connections. I'm going to click OK. 
So we have uh, group one and group two. So everything now is set. Let's see if we can actually do a man in the middle on uh, the target, which is this one. And like I said, it's a Linux Mint machine. So I'll open it. Let me go ahead and uh, confirm the IP address here. So this is the terminal. And I can do IP address. And as you can see, this is the IP 172.16.1.102, which matches what we have here. Okay, so I'll go back to that target device. And now we'll try and uh, open a page and see if we can capture that information on the Kali Linux machine that's doing the uh, sniffing. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, minimize this. Terminal. I'll open Firefox browser. And then what I'll do is I'm going to um, go to a page that we can use for testing. So this is just for testing and for educational purposes. It's got links here, a few links that we can test. So these are test websites. If you scroll down, you, you see you see why it says that we can use these applications to understand uh, how programming and configuration errors can lead to uh, security issues. Also, we can use this for penetration testing or for educational purposes. So you can use this to learn different concepts such as SQL injection, uh, cross-site scripting, and so on. So let's click on this second option here. Once that, once we click on that link, we'll get to this page. Uh, let's go with this option. Uh, let's type in, we'll type in anything you want here. I'll type inner, then I'll put test. And then I'll click on this. Uh, don't save. Now I'll go back to Kali Linux machine. And as you can see at the bottom, we have the uh, this line here showing the content from the uh, Linux Mint machine. So that tells us that we are able to do a man in the middle. So that's it for this demo. I hope you found this to be useful. I'll catch you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.